Here is the uh, 51 quart, and what a ball it is. It really um, kind of blew us away when we first saw this. Just the uh, amazing amount of bubbles and overall crudity. It'd be interesting to see without the bubbles how much crudity there would be, or without the crudity how many bubbles there would be. Well, we know how many bubbles there would be a lot. This has the uh, graphite panel. It's got just a circle on the base. And uh, the top is a double roll, which is perfect and full of bubbles. There's pretty much bubbles everywhere on this thing. Um, the steel pictures, I think, really speak for the bottle. Um, kind of an interesting bubble that starts here, and we're going to uh, turn this down a little bit um, just because we are. There's a bubble that goes from here that stretches all the way around to the back. And that's kind of a neat thing. It's funny with everything going on in this flask, uh, it's maybe one of the least things you notice, but it's really pretty cool. I think if it was in another bottle you may um, pay more attention to it. Just a lot to like in this piece. As I say, when we first saw it I was thinking, man, this thing is like rock candy. It's just so hammer whittled and so full of bubbles. An incredible bottle. One we don't see. I think almost any bottle with this sort of texture would be astounding, but to get a uh, a flask in this um, form is pretty amazing. The uh, G51 Washington Taylor, very beautiful example.